So in this one, we're going to create an undestructive cylinder that's pretty customizable. Now, if you're coming from something like Max, you'll know this is something like the lathe feature over there. Um, however, here in Blender, it's the screw modifier. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I know you're not going to be able to see these vertices as I'm working with them too well. So what I'm going to do is ch change the viewport so it's a lot brighter. Just for a moment so you guys can see what's going on. And uh, we're going to create a mesh. It doesn't matter really which one, as long as it's symmetrical. Right, so the cube would work, for example. Select it, go into edit mode, select it all, press A and then M and merge it at center so we get one single vertex right at the center here. So you'll see it, right? Okay, so we're gonna turn on snapping, absolute grid snap. And while orbiting, okay, you can hold down Alt, snap into a side view. All right, so I'm gonna press E and X, right? And I can pull it out to this way, or I can just press G because we're using absolute grid snap, I can just press G and hold control. All right. Press E, hold control, E, hold control, E, hold control. And we'll push that one in a little bit. All right, so something like this to get started with. Um, actually, let's bring it all the way to the center for just a moment. Okay, so we bring it back to the center. Okay, so now you can see the edge a little bit better, hopefully. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to add a bevel to this. And normally when you add a bevel to something like this, it's it's kind of... You don't see much taking effect or anything, uh, but you can increase the um, the segments here all day long. Nothing will happen. You have to change effects, edges, the vertices. Okay, and now you can bevel this. And you can change the overall bevel size. You can increase the segment count and make it smoother and all that fun stuff. So you can see how that's working out. Now let's take it a little step further. We're going to change it over to weighted. So we use weight. Still affecting vertices. All right, we gotta go into edit mode. And we can select these vertices and we can change each one of these, the vertex data, mean bevel weight. We can bump that up and down, right? We might have to change the offset up higher as well, just so we have a little bit more control over all these. But um, once you do that, you can go ahead and tweak this and get it, whatever kind of curves and profiles you want, you can, you can do that right here now. So if you want it just to be a cylinder, you keep them straight up and down. So it'll be four vertices, basically. All right. Next up, screw modifier. You add the screw modifier. This is what you get by default. We want to change a couple settings. We're going to merge the vertices. Okay. We're going to calculate order. Okay. Sometimes it might flip around. You might have to click flip here. Okay. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this. And so what's going on now is... The bevel, we can change the segment counts, so we can increase segments this way. Okay, and then if we were to go back to the screw modifier, you can see steps. We can also increase steps. So we can increase segments this way. We can make higher low poly, uh, basically non-destructive cylinders. Now it gets a little bit better. Last thing here I'm going to show you is that even though we were using bevel weights here like this, you ever notice in the bevel modifier, it's usually set to super loops. Um, we can change that down to custom. Now we can actually create custom profiles for each one of those uh, bevels that took place. So you can now do some little special curves here like this. Have a little bit of fun with it. So this will be really good for making, and it's all non-destructive pretty much for the most part. Uh, Semi-non-destructive technically, I think, because you have to use the... Uh, base mesh but you can go in and edit that as well so if you want to make little pots or whatever you can do that and um, shift things around you change the bevel weights right you see how that works maybe this one's like really big maybe this one in here you might have to hit alt z to see through it but maybe that one's really small yeah. maybe the center one doesn't go to the center maybe it goes out to the side so we have a big opening here at the top Something like that. Now you could try running a solidify after all this, but it might give you some issues occasionally. Um, can't use uh, even thickness, I think, because it starts to wig out. And so what you might want to do is just collapse it all. So right click, convert it to a mesh, and then maybe try doing solidify after the fact. That might work out a little bit better. Uh, in this particular case, the profiles are so close to each other, this wouldn't work out very well either. So 
But yeah, that's um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you enjoyed checking it out, and I'll check you out in the next one. All right, take care.